Because your children have come to your house today, let their lives begin to experience good things, new things that they never bargained for. Testimonies galore in the name of Jesus Christ. This many part of the year, we deliver that thing that Satan has hold since generally that has not been manifested by fire and by force, all shall be manifested in the name of Jesus. Sir. Our pain is over. Our sicknesses is over. Our diseases they are over. Our infirmities they are over. My God has stopped this in every home. My God has stopped this in every life. Your serving God will not be questioned. Every command, every body, your serving God. So then, because you are here, my God will eradicate them. By fire in the name of Jesus Christ. As many waiting to hear a report of you and I, of this ministry, my God will disappoint them forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. That fire of the Holy Ghost, baby, give a pound in your life. Pound in our lives. Pound in our homes. Why not our business in the ministry? In everything that we buy, we will put foot and hand before our God shall be given upon. There are no work of darkness we ever prevail there anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we have prayed. God bless you. Please get in hand and say, You are welcome. God bless you. Please be free in your Father's house. Hallelujah. Without wasting time, let's work on the TIC for the administration. What about Paul to Jesus? Hallelujah. Make us this love for Jesus. He's Lord of the praise. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Law, the Asian of Days. We are just here to work with him. Because he is the owner of your soul. And the title of our song today says, There's not like the presence of God. How many believe there's not like the presence of God? I want all that presence because there are many presents. But the good presence is the presence of God. Because why you are the carrier of God's presence. So if you are not carrying God's presence, then there's some place you are carrying. Well, I'm glad to tell you that you are carrying God's presence in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing like your presence, God. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, God. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, God. All I want is to be with you. Nothing like your presence, God. All I want.
greatness. We give you praise this morning. What an awesome presence. What an awesome grace. Holy Spirit, we thank you for the infilling. We thank you for the impact. Lord, our heart is opened. Fill us this morning. Inundate our spirit with the water of life. I disappear in you and I ask that you take over. Teach your people. Heal your people. Deliver your people. Give your people a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let no one return the same way. Let there be a difference. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody shout a living amen? Amen. Please, you can take your seats. You're welcome. God bless you. I want to thank God for the choir. God bless you so much. I drink from you all the time. That is, that is, that is refreshment. That is called refreshment of the Holy Spirit. You know, when you minister from the Spirit, there must be an impartation. That is, that, is, that is the essence of spirit ministration. When the word comes from the spirit, it feeds the heart. You know, we live in the days where talking to our head will not do. We need our spirit to be impacted. Because you may forget what you heard, but you can never forget in partition. And I want to admonish the choir, please keep the price on. It takes price to do that. I know that that's not cheap. If you are not in the world of administration, you will understand that. It takes price to fetch water out of the well of salvation. You can't do that from a natural realm. When you are natural, you can do that. It must be by sacrifice. By sacrifice. The Bible says when they put the sacrifice in order, the spirit came. And I know what you have drank this morning will never be wasted from your life. Amen. It shall rather multiply. Amen. You remember Jesus, he said, that water I will give to you. He was speaking to the woman at the well of Samaria. He said, it will become a spring of water. In other words, when you think it's getting dried, more of it will begin to spill forth. That is what spring of water means. And that is the kind Jesus wants us to drink this last days because, you know, we live in the days of hyper, super satanic distortion. So we must also come out with a difference. If we go as normal, we may not survive. But if we are going to win, we must come out with a difference. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to share something with you briefly before we leave here this morning. And uh, I'm going to do a continuation of where I stopped in the first service. I think I should target understanding the times and seasons, part four. Understanding the times and seasons, part four. Ecclesiastes told us, he said, to everything, not to some, to everything, there is a time, there is a season under the earth. And uh, in the book of Matthew 24, from verse 3 to 5, the disciples of Jesus began to reiterate in question to Jesus what he taught them. And he said, Master, these things you are saying, what shall be the sign of the events? What shall be the preceding events to those things you have taught us? And the Bible said Jesus told them that they should be watchful and they should not allow any man to deceive them. In other words, there was a possibility of deception if there was not Jesus who would have brought that to question. And in 2 Timothy chapter 4 from verse 1, please can we go there? Second, second Timothy chapter 4 from verse 1. The Bible began to tell us 
the events of the last days. He said, I charge thee therefore before God. Every one of us sitting here today, we are seated before God. And, and the Lord Jesus, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. So he is reiterating to us that Jesus is coming. And he said, preach the word. In other words, don't come to the altar, Pastor Steve, and make fun. Preach the word. Don't come to the altar and say things that are irrelevant. Preach the word. Don't come to the altar and excite the people. Preach the word. When you are at the altar, I didn't take you there to excite the people or make them feel good. What I asked you to do is not to preach your own word, but preach the word. He used the word the, which is a definite article. The word. In other words, there is no any other word but his word alone. He said, preach the word. There are other words. It is called a word, a lesson, a teaching. He said, but this one, it is called the. He is the, he is the, he is the totality of all. He said, preach the word. That's why he's called the God of our, the God, not a God. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, be instant in season. And out of seasons. In other words, there are circumstances that may be insinuating to you otherwise. He said, irrespective of the insinuation, he said, be persistent and consistent with the world. Be persistent and consistent with the world. Because circumstances are going to present themselves that may want to make you feel that it's not the right time. Praise God. That may want to make you feel that that is not the supposing moment. He said that at that time, you are feeling because God is not in our feelings. God is not in our emotion. What we may be feeling may be different from what God is saying. Can someone say amen? God can be saying something different and we may be feeling something different. That's what the Bible says. Why we look not at the things which are seen. We are not focusing on the things that are obvious to the optical eyes. But we are focusing on the things that the mortal eyes cannot see. But the Holy Ghost has revealed them to us by his word. So through his word, we capture pictures of eternity. We capture pictures that are extra mortal. We capture pictures that are spiritual. So the Bible says we should focus on those things. We should focus on the superior revelation, on the superior information, because there are informations that there are superior information. So the superior information are heavenly, and the Bible says they are eternal. Because the normal information can be subject to contradiction, can be subject to distortion. But the Bible says, my word it has gone out of my mouth. It shall not return back to me for it. It shall prosper whithersoever I send it. There are two immutable things with God. It is impossible for God to lie. Have I said it? I will do it. When I stretch forth my hands, no man can turn it back. When I make my decree, it cannot be distorted. He said, when I say yes, no one can say no. He said, preach the word. Go back there. Preach the word in season and out of season. Whether you feel like or not, or you don't feel like, go ahead and preach my word. He said, he said, he said, go back to verse 2. He said, preach the word. In season and out of season. In the sound, in the reproof. Rebuke. Exhort. You see, as a Christian, if you cannot stand rebuke, you don't have the seed of God yet. Because the Bible says Jesus humbled himself when he came before John the Baptist. The Bible says he told John the Baptist, baptize me. And John said, no. I am not worthy to unloose the lashes of the sandals. He said, I'm not qualified to baptize deity himself. 
He said, I ought to be baptized by you. But the Bible said, Jesus says, suffering to be so now, for so beholden for us to fulfill the scripture. Including Jesus was subject to the word. He could not break the word, even though he was the word. But he subjected himself to the word for mortal to baptize deity himself. Why? Because the word of God is superior. God said in his word, he said, I honor my word more than my name. He said, be instant, rebuke. So Jesus humbled himself and was baptized. And the moment he said that, he satisfied the eternal jurisdiction and judgment. And the Bible said, because of that, a sentence by the almighty church of the universe was released from heaven. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Why? Because of his humility. So we must check our life if we are rebukable. Because any individual that is not rebukable is not qualified for the kingdom. He said, rebuke, 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 exhort with all long suffering. Because severally, you, you may be true with the rebuke, and all of a sudden it is repeated, it is repeated, but you must, you must, you must have long suffering, all of them, not some of them, until the deed is done in the life of that individual. So you are patient for the change, waiting for the change, because even at the last moment he was still there waiting. The Bible says, with all long suffering, verse 3. He says, for the time will come. That is the time we are in now. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. The first question you must ask yourself, can I endure sound doctrine? There are many doctrines today. But the Bible says all doctrines are not the same. There are sound doctrines. They are the doctrines that comes from God direct. So the question is, can you endure sound doctrine? If something wrong is found in your hands, can it be taken from you? That's sound doctrine. If something that God hates is found in your hands, would you be hiding to escape it from God? That's sound doctrine. A man that can bear his heart, a woman that can bear her heart, to ask God to see, David was speaking. He said, search my heart to Lord. Search my heart. We must come to a level where we can allow God to search our heart. Does this our heart? Yes. But he wants us to open it by ourselves. Whether we open it or not, he will still see it. But if we open it because the Bible says, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. He said, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own loss, what is their loss? The pleasure of life. Hiding iniquity and hiding wrong things, covering sins. He said, after their own loss, shall they give to themselves teachers having each of years. How many people today, after they leave a service, we have God is expecting something wonderful to them. And they go back to the internet and begin to listen to a teacher that will help them forget the kind of rule and instruction that God has given to them. They look for teachings in the internet that we come down and cool down and make them remain the same. Listen to me, the Bible says, except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees. He said, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You must come to a place where God can vex your spirits and vex your soul. Where you can be conscious of the fact that God is in every action and the statement of your mouth. You must vet it out. The Bible said that we hear from teachers having each ear. Who do you listen to that makes you feel good in wickedness? Who do you listen to that makes you feel good in what is wrong? Can I tell you something? If it is wrong, no matter the number of people that clap for you, it doesn't change the wrongness. The crowd can clap for you. The people can hail you. They can tell you, do well. Listen to me. Man's statement is not equal to God's approval. Except the Lord approves you, whatever men told you, they are false promises. The Bible says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Where have you turned your ears to? That's the question you must ask yourself. What are you hearing? What are you willing to hear? 
when you open your Facebook, when you open your internet, when you open your WhatsApp, when you when you when you open your uh, 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 Facebook, what do you listen to? Your Twitter, what do you hear? Who do you listen to? Who do you call back to your life? Whether you like it or not, the statement you hear often determines the atmosphere you create. You can't hear wrong things and create good atmosphere. You can't hear wrong things and create an, an you know godly atmosphere because the atmosphere you charge up will determine the manif- you know the manifestation you experience. If you charge up a wrong atmosphere, it will manifest a wrong experience. If you need a good experience, you must charge up the right atmosphere around your house. Who do you hear? One thing you must understand: you must sit down to calculate anything that is wrong will never build you up spiritually. It will never give you spiritual stamina. Because if you are carrying a false word, you are carrying a false information, before trouble, you become an epileptic agent. Because trouble cripples a man that is not carrying the truth. It takes the truth to overcome. The Bible says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the freedom of a man from fear, the freedom of a man from the attack of darkness, the freedom of a man from the issues of life that comes to cripple men is the truth that they know. The Bible said they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables, deceptions, craftiness. What does not build? Can I tell you something? Ice cream is sweet, but it has second effect. Ice cream is nice, but it has second effect. So, most especially, medical doctors will tell you the precaution when it comes to eating ice cream. Hallelujah. Verse 6. He said, For I am not, sorry, go to verse 5. Go to verse 5. He said, But watch thou. So, you cannot lose God. You, God will not watch for you. He said, In the last days, we live in the last days now. He said, Perilous and dangerous times shall come. He said, This no also. He said, Dangerous times shall come. Verse, verse 2. Very dangerous. It looks cool. It looks cool. But there are traffic in the realm of the spirits. Demons are busy looking for one means, but any temple means another to make sure that souls are dragged to eternal damnation. He said, This time men shall be lovers of their own selves. Have you come to a level where you prefer your own pleasure than the pleasure of God? Remember, God never created you for your pleasure. In the book of, of uh, um, uh, 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 Revelation chapter 4 from verse 1, when you read down, he said we were created for God's pleasure. He said that church, they say the truth, they will not go there. Let me tell you something. At the age of 80, you will look for us. No matter how you wrong, you look for us. Go and mark it. It's not, it's not, it's not a threat, it's a promise. Go and mark it. You have things in your hand. You can't even take care of your children. You can't even feed your children. And you are buying human hair for your girlfriend. Your wife is Babylon Low Court in Nigeria. Babylon Low Court in Accra. You are here in Europe. Why? Because you belong to a group of evil people. Demonic individuals that are heartless. They will also crucify your soul. They will not resist until they destroy it. The Bible says you must come out of them. If you remain there, you can't survive. Stand up on your feet.
much you love him, how much you want to follow him, how much you want to be for him, how much you want to be for him. Just tell him how much you love him, how much you want to follow his will and purpose. Tell him how much you want to love him. Just watch him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look for the child that is missing in the It's today you are doing the best day as well. But that's not the essence. The essence is about the dedication. So please dedicate your children. If you have given birth, it's very dangerous not to dedicate them. You will be, will be, will be taking a very dangerous risk. We may not know. Praise God. Please, Brother Ephraim, what is the name of your son and why have you given him that name? His name is Zion Uyosa. So I give him Zion, which means God's dwelling place. And um, through that, since he came into my life, God has really shown himself so mightily in my life. And that's why I said, who you start all honor to God. Hallelujah. So please, we are going to stretch our hands towards Zion, who you are also. We are going to bless him while we dedicate him to God. Please stretch your hands towards him and bless him. Bless him with the whole of your heart. Bless him. Bless him. Pray for him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Father, we lift up Zion to you. According to your word, we put it in your hands. Because you have said in your word, whomever they put in your hands will never be taken away. You said all that was put in your hands, no one was missing, not one. Father, we put this one in your hands, Lord. We also ask you. Let him not be missing. Amen. As you have kept others, keep this one. Amen. Mighty Father, we dedicate him to you in the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mighty Father, we pray for your Son that from today he rests in your bosom. Amen. Keep him for us, guide him for us, protect him for us. Father, watch over him for us. You said the watchman watches in vain, you said the builder builds in vain. Father, we submit the building and the watching to your hands. Guide him, watch him for us. Keep him from the eyes of the wicked. Preserve him from the snare of the fowler. Train him in your wisdom and your grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the same authority you have invested in our life, we give him to the parents, the earthly parents. Father, I pray for them. I ask for God that from today they become the caretaker and the earthly parents of Zion. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I make a decree upon their life that the doors that open when dedication is done to you, Father, let those doors open for this family. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Financial door, Amen. material door, Amen. wisdom door, Amen. knowledge door. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for this family. Everything that Zion will need to grow well, May it be provided for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I make a decree. Morning and night, whoever comes to your house to fight against Zion, the sword of God shall fight them. Amen. Whoever visits you for good shall be good for them. Amen. Whoever comes with evil shall backfire. Amen. I pronounce upon your life 
if you cause Zion by mistake, mother, father, it shall not stand. It shall not stand. If you bless him, it shall stand. Zion, you shall grow in wisdom. You shall grow in stature. Having favor with God. Having favor with men. You shall become a peseta. Destiny molder. Bridge repairer. Whoever is said that to corrupt you will lose your address. Whoever is said that to destroy you before he locates you shall be destroyed. Whoever is said that to finish you, our God shall mark them for destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ, I surround this family with the fire of God. I declare you protected. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Give Jesus a gift. Please bring the cake closer. to thank God, they are going to go to the back to dance to thank God. That is what you will do. If you are thanking God with them, whatever you have brought for God, amen, you keep it at the offering bowl. Amen. Whatever you have brought for them, please give it to them direct. Amen. So it is good you thank God for what he has done so that you will be the next, all of us, will be dancing with in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your son. He has come to celebrate one year old. Father, he has started with this joy and happiness. Joy and happiness shall not cease in his life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. He is blessed and favored, lifted and exalted in all dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Lord for hearing us. In Jesus name we have prayed. Please introduce the king. A round of applause for Jesus. Let's clap for Zion too. Let's put our hands together for baby Zion. going to cut his first birthday cake by the spell of Jesus. Church, you know the way we do it. J E J E S U The last letter S Jesus Why do you have to cut like that? Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday Happy birthday
your life, in our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Please, please, please take notes. The next two weeks Sunday, we will have a special meeting. As soon as you close, we will be hanged for that meeting. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you know you want to baptize, please come and submit your name. Yeah, As we are for the name of the Savior of Jesus. We are presenting you. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Yearly declaration. 2021 is my year of supernatural happiness. I shall not be broken in my vision. I shall be part of the promise. Signs of wonders and miracles shall be awaited every other day this year. In Jesus' name, go in peace in Jesus' name.
came to use up for all 